What you're about to see is an excerpt from the Fronos Photo Guide to building your online presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the full version for free, head on over to fronosphoto.com branding. But for now, enjoy this excerpt. Let's jump into the home page. Now, this could be the first introduction that people have to your brand. And what I want to do is go through some samples. Uh, we'll look at my site and we'll look at some good sites and some sites that I think could change their homepage a little bit. But this is where people are entering your brand for the first time. Uh, and what you put on a homepage is pretty important with how it's organized. Do you have social buttons? Do you have music playing? Do you have photos uh, turning? You have to figure out what's going to work for you. But th there are some rules of thumb with what you want to see on a homepage, how many links and how many galleries. A lot of this stuff goes into making a site good to making it really good and to help people find what they want to find. So right here we have a homepage from Andrew, what's it say, Ferrum? Something along those lines. Now, right off the bat, the text is a little hard to read. For me, that type of script looks hard to read. Now, actually, I, I don't mind his signature because if that's close to what his signature looks like, I'm perfectly fine with that. But when you look at engagement and weddings right here on the homepage, I just think it looks very 1997-ish with that type of font that you, you pick the script font, which we've all done it. I used to do it back in the day because those were the fonts that you used. But when I first saw this website, I liked the direction it was going. I liked that I have a fatal alternative to make. A fatal alternative is a choice. Would you like A or would you like B? In this case, would I like to see engagements or weddings? I'm going to pick one or the other, and that is a really good thing to see on a homepage because it's directing me somewhere. And that's, and that's what it's all about. Now, let's take a look up here. We have home, portfolio, and you can see there's some drop downs. We've got about me, we've got pricing, we've got contact, and then we just have one social button here, which is for Facebook. Uh, I recommend you have a contact, uh, you know, one of those envelopes somewhere so that, that you could see it. Let's see if one of these other sites have an envelope there. Yeah, right here on this RP, uh, what's that say? Ruano Photography has their Instagram and they have a contact button right down here. Now, this is a cool looking website. I love the side scrolling nature. And as I click, you get to go through the different pictures. You've got studio. What does studio mean? Oh, I guess it, it, it's the first thing that I am seeing on the homepage is the studio. Then you've got portraits and hotel indigo, music, travel. Roids? Roids, where we're going. Oh, Roids, where we're going. We don't need Roids. They mean Polaroids. Now that could go different ways. Could you be steroids? I don't know, but I didn't even see that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so there's different things to choose. There's a lot of different options up here. Let's go to another site. Uh, and here's one that's built on a smug mug platform. You can see that right here. And right off the bat, it just it just yells of, you know, it says folders right here. If this is my introduction to the site, I'm I like the photos. I like how they're there. It, like I know that this is well, roads. <laughs> Those are roads, and they're going somewhere. This is nature. Oh, it says places, nature, sports. Uh, music, food, fireworks. So I like having those options right on the front, but those would be good things to have in a menu bar. But I don't even see a menu bar on here at all. So I, I like diving in. Here, let me jump to my site one second. This is where I currently have my site taking you. It takes you to a portfolio of one of my photo stories. My personal flow is to tell, uh, to tell, to tell photo stories. And that's what... That's what I want to do with my site. You can decide the flow that you want people to go into. So the first gallery that you show them should be your best or should be the message that you're trying to get across. Now, what I was just saying on that other page is that it didn't have a menu bar or places to go next. I just want it to be, I want people to be able to see that they can go other places on the site. Now, my site is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not a UI designer or developer. I think it can be better, and that's what I'm building towards here, is to make it better. I want to have a page that shows everything right on the front so you can choose your own adventure. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet because I haven't spent a ton of time digging into that, but I like what's going on on this site. So back to the Smug Mug one is if it could be cleaner and it could have a menu and it could tell you where you're going, that would be a great introduction to your homepage. Remember to pick your best gallery. Now, in this case, 
studio is where RP uh, Ruano Photography wanted to take you, and these, and these photos are great. And it's, the flow is easy. So another one we have here is Casey J. McGeorge. I, for some reason, want to say McGregor, but it's McGeorge. This is very similar to what a cover page would look like. It's the first place that you're entering when you get to somebody's site. Uh, so you can decide to go to cityscapes, portraits, about, whatever CV is, and contact. I'm not a big fan of putting contact on your home page, sorry, on your cover page because I want people only to contact me when they have a reason to contact me because they've seen my work. It's not saying it doesn't work. Again, this is my opinion for what I think should be on a site or could be on a site and you can decide what works best for you. It's always good to test different things out but this is an example of there's no photo on the page but we know that this is a photography site because it says it right here in the URL. But being that it doesn't have it there, it's okay because now I wanna be like, oh, I can choose my own adventure. Maybe this is a good site, a good thing that I should consider for my homepage in this case, which is a cover page. Maybe I should put different photo stories there and direct people that way, and then they can choose their own adventure from there. So here we could dive in and we go to portraits and we can see how the site works. It's pretty clean. You've got your social buttons right here. You've got your home, cityscapes, uh, CV content. You've got the same information that you saw on the front page or on the cover page right here. So that is pretty cool. Let's see. There are so many photos here. So that's one thing that we would talk about is how many photos are right for a gallery. Again, this is subjective, and I, and I go back and forth on my own personal galleries. Should it be 40 pictures? Should it be 15? Should it be 12? I really don't think you should have less than, say, eight or 10 photos in a gallery. If you have too few, it may seem like, well, you don't have a lot of those type of photos, and you maybe shouldn't have that on your site until you have more on that. I've seen galleries that have one photo in it, and it's called, like, nature or animals, and you have a picture of an animal. That doesn't exactly work in a lot of cases if that's not, oh, 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 yeah. So what, yeah, what I also want to talk about when it comes to, a, to your home page is what message are you trying to get across? Here we have Andrew's site. We've got engagements and weddings. We have a feeling that they probably want to sell weddings. Now, should they put music and sports or some other alternative thing on this site? That's up to them, but in a lot of cases, you're looking to, if you're selling something, you want to make sure that your message is clear. If you're going to show something that, like boudoir photos, that could work with engagements and could work with weddings. But if you're going to show nature and, and travel and all of that, that may take away from the message that you're trying to get across. Now, if you're not looking to sell anything and you just want to make a great page for yourself, then by all means, show three, four, maybe five different types of photography that you're into. But what I was saying about the number of images is make sure you don't have a limited number of images for a section. If you have two pictures of animals, maybe don't put animals up until you've got five, six, seven, eight different pictures of them that get the point across. So with home pages, your job is to sell people on what they're there to see. Are they there to see weddings? Are they there to see studio work? Now, studio portraits, we know that this person is doing a lot of those type of images. That's really good. We know this person is all over the place with what they shoot, so we don't know what their message is exactly, but it still works if the layout was slightly better. And then we come back to uh, the homepage for Casey, which then really should lead us into talking about cover pages as an option. So we've got Casey's page right here, which really leads us back into cover pages. And so what I wanna do is get my site back to the cover page and we're gonna talk about the importance of cover pages. So I hope you enjoyed that excerpt from the Frontos Photo Guide to Building Your Online Presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the entire guide for free, head on over to frontosphoto.com branding where you can download the entire guide.